Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going over a Dofi. Now Dofi is a brilliant deck. He was amazing for set one, and he's still really good for set two. Um, this is a winning list from Japan, I think it is. Yeah, it abs it's absolutely amazing. I love it. Um, yeah, first of all, we've got Dofi leader. If you not, if you haven't really seen him already, uh, for two don, uh, you have to rest one. So seven K attack. Look at the top card of your deck. If it's a seven Warlords of the Sea character. Uh, cost four or less, you can play it rested. So it's really good to get. Um, I'll, I'll show the characters in a minute. Really good to easily set up your board. Hit 7k, which will. They have to play 2k counter on 1k, which is harder. Um, and it's easy to set up. So I, it's a bit like the um, Arlong video I did last time. Hitting big numbers and then setting up with it. So it's very, very nice. Um, 5k, 5 life. Pretty good. Good for a leader. Um, the only problem with this is you need to, you do need to remember where your cards are in your deck. <laughs> so if you've set one of the characters which you can use on the top, you have to make sure that you don't draw into it and then use the attack, if you know what I mean. Um, we've got Moria. This is one of the characters which you can draw. Four cost, 6k. So you're swinging 7k um, Dofi, and then for one Don, you're putting this guy on the bench. Um... Yeah, absolutely amazing. Really quick to set up. And this guy is can get really annoying. <laughs> um, but yeah, for one Don to get him out, it's brilliant. I love it. You also got Jinbei, who you can use uh, from Adofi again. Uh, 5k. On KO, place one character with a cost of 3 or less at the bottom of your in his deck. So that's really good for, for example, Zoro, or if you need to get rid of the blocker. Very, very useful. Uh, very good. And it's also baiting you to attack them, which might make you stay alive a bit more if the opponent doesn't want you to use that effect. So it'll probably let you hit life, whatever. Um, you also got Teach. Same thing you can get from Dofi. 4 cost, 4k. On play, return a character with 3 or less to be on his hand. Again, good to get rid of blockers. Probably not for Zoro because they can just pop him back down. Um... But yeah, it's good for slowing them down, stopping them from playing certain characters, and obviously blockers as well, to help you attack. Uh, really good. You can play all these effects when you put them down with Dofi's leader ability. Um, so yeah, it's honestly really, really cool. Also got Boa Hancock, um, 5k blocker, which is really good. Uh, and for the attack, uh, same thing, same effect for attack and block. Um, quite nice. For one Don, uh, draw one card if you have f five or less in your hand. So it's nice to be able to get the counter you need. If you have zero cards in hand and they have like a 5k attacker come in, just block and then draw one so you can either counter or get another character to play. So yeah, it really good. Um, nice leader, which you can also get off. Not, not leader, nice blocker, which you can also get off leader. Uh, Mihawk again, you can get off, but you're probably going to want to use him for 2k counter. Because he's good for... <laughs> he's got 2k counter. Um, but if you don't want to use him, you can... Don, for one Don, when attacking, draw two, trash two. They're pretty good. Nice to cycle three cards. If you... um, For example, you have the Gekko Moria in your hand and you don't want to use him, uh, you can trash it. Pretty good. Very nice. You have the other Gekko Moria... Um, again, another 5k, and his ability, when you put him down, add one, seven wallets of the C, four or less back into your hand. So, you're probably going to want to get Mihawk back, just to keep cycling, get the counters out. Absolutely amazing, really very useful. Uh, let me turn the music a little bit, there. And finally, we've got the Doflamingo blocker. This is the last card I think you can get from, from Leader. Be yeah, a very good blocker, 4k. Um, not the best, but you'll withstand a big attack. Um, but you don't have to get him from the leader. His on playability, look at the top five cards of your deck, either put them at the top or bottom of your deck, and put them in any order. So you can plan it out. So if you have, let's say, Mihawks and the Gecko Moria, 4 cost 6k. You can plan it out, so you know what you're going to draw next. And then you're going to use the attack and things like that. 
So you can plan out when the cards are going to be on top of your deck, and then you can use a leader to... So it's very good. You're going to have to remember when each card is on there. Um, but yeah, it's a blocker as well, so free cost. Being able to search out, set up your deck, um, and block as well. Really good. Also a Perona who does the same thing, but isn't a blocker, and for one cost, which is so pretty good you can use on your first turn. Um, yeah, pretty nice. Not much more to say about her. Um, you also have a Dofi, which one cost does the same thing, but it's only free. Um, and his attack, when you have one done, really good. It may not get hit like leader for life or anything, get rid of any big characters. But when attacking, trash one from your hand and place up to one of your opponent's characters with cost of one or less of bomb your deck. So that Koomp, that's good. I can get you um, get rid of Chopper or something. One cost blocker. Or uh, if you're going Zoro, you can get rid of like Sunny or something. Very useful. Honestly, really good card. Um, and obviously, you can give him more Don to hit bigger numbers. Well, Valvida, who's just a 2k counter. Uh, when attacking for a Don, discard one and return three or less to the hand. Good to stop blockers and stop them from setting up. Uh, although it's not uh, seven wards of the sea, which is a shame. So you're probably going to want to keep her in your hand for the 2k counters. We have Mihawk now. Mihawk is really good. Big boss. Um, six cost, 8k, really good. The only problem is... He is 6 cost, which means you can't get it off a Dofi leader. So you're going to have to use your Don to set to get him out. It's a bit of a shame, but it's really powerful. 8k is really, really good. Um, yeah, 1k counter as well, if in case you don't want to pop him down. Uh, very good, very useful. Then we've got the same thing for this Mihawk. Can't get him from a leader, but he is 7 more to see. Now, this guy is really good. Quite situational and risky to use. Uh, 9 cost, 9k, really good. Uh, on play, set a character with a cost of 7 or less at the bottom of his deck. Now this is really good if they have a blocker. Um, they can get rid of, uh, let's say, 7 drop kid. You can just pop him down, we're not going to get that again. Uh, honestly, amazing. I really like this. However, because it costs 9 of your Don, you can't... Have attack big numbers with other characters. So if they have, for example, one life left or something, you probably, and they have a big hand, you probably don't want to put them down. You're going to want to use your Don to attack. So it's, yeah, it's good and bad. If you think you can live another two turns or something, put them down. But, um, yeah, you don't want to you want to risk all your Don. We have Law. You can get down as well, but I probably wouldn't. One cost blocker. Very nice, very good. Um, set him down in turn one, very good. Now the events, I think there's two events. We have Desert Sparta. Um, your leader or one of your characters gains 2k counter, which is really good. Uh, and then look at the top three and put them in any order. So again, the Dofi, um, Blocker, the Perona. Um, just choosing your cards from your deck, organizing them so you can get the Gecko Moria or something on top. Very good. Um... And the trigger, draw two, trash one. Very nice to get more cards. And we've got Love, Love, Beam. Uh, if two cost. Um, so if rest two dawn, get four kick counter. Really good. Um, if you have three or less cards in your hand, draw one. Now, you going to be careful with this. Because I um, I think in the one, of the one of my games, I planned out my deck. I was like, okay, I've got Gecko Moria. Not next, but one after, so I can use him. But then I used Love of Beam and drew it, so it, was, it wasn't complete. Um, and yeah, it was, it was not, it didn't work for the order of the deck. So you're gonna want to use her when, like, if you need to, or if you have that in hand, you can calculate that as well. To yeah, honestly, I love the deck. Um, very quick and easy to set up. Um, get a lot of hitters down, lots of blockers, lots of counters, and keep cycling. Honestly, really good deck. It was amazing in set one, and it's still probably maybe better in set two. I love it. Definitely check it out. Let me um.
pull up the deck now. Uh, can you see that? Yeah. There, here it is. Very nice. There's four of most things apart from Blackbeard, um, Desert Sparta, Jimbei, and Dofi, and Family Hawk. <laughs> so, not everything. Um, but yeah, very good. Majority of it's seven warlords and cost four less, so you can put them up. Honestly, I love this list. Um, it won in a big tournament as well, so you can't, it has proof and evidence of doing well. But yeah, I love the deck. Um, I'll pop a clip up right now of me playing it. Uh, if there are any other decks you want me to check out, please comment them down below. Like and subscribe, and thank you. Right, we're against Blurple Kaido. Uh, no, I don't want... Actually, no, I won't take this hand. That's much better. Uh, Alright, so what did I do again? Done one on your turn. Once during your turn, when your opponent's character is KO'd. When your opponent's... Yeah, take a card set out. Okay. So let's use Perunit. So let's try and do this correctly. Start basing on top. Next turn, I want to have... Thingy. So let's have it so... Laura's on top. Okay, so we're gonna have thingy, so Okay, yep. Yeah. So Moria Blackbeard Moria Law. Gotta play you like gotta play it in the right order. Right, okay. Should be right, okay. We should have this. Dofi. So they have a blocker out already. I haven't actually seen many Blurple Kaido lists. I wanted to play, um. What is it? I wanted to play Blurple Crocodile, because I have the. <laughs> the altar leader in person. But, um. I don't know. I've just never actually had a look. Already using a blocker, wow, okay. Yeah, I got the um, Altar Leader in person, so I want to actually use it. I play him, um, I've got him pulled down, and I thought it was like the blue with Ivangov. I kind of want to try it out with um, with the Crocodile Leader. Obviously, some things won't work, but I think it'll be fun. Right, so bang, bang, 7,000, use card action, play card as rested. Let's get him back. Right. Free Don. I want to check my top hand. Oh, he's waiting for trigger, I forgot. I think he is at least. Yes, no. Okay, no. Hang on. Uh right, deploy replace. Right, okay. So I'll place him top. So level of beam of bottom. And then I wanna draw that for so Gonna be bang, bang. Okay, I put that in the wrong order. I sort of swap them around. Okay, that's it's fine though. It's fine. Everyone makes mistakes. He's gonna have eight next turn. Probably. If I were, he's probably gonna get the um seven drop. King to get rid of both my blockers. That would be smart. That's probably what I would do. Oh, just a six drop. Okay. Okay. Game. Okay. That's yeah. That's still smart. Count it. Hehe. <laughs> Let's 
What's he done on Nagashima? Alright, so. Bang, bang. I think, yeah, that's. This isn't gonna be. Wait, is it? It is. This is gonna be Moria. Pretty sure. Yeah, play card is rested. Okay, that was good for us. Let's pop this guy down. Uh, ooh, ooh, that's a bit rough. Okay, so we want we want to put him down, and we also want to put him down. Okay, so that's how we're gonna do it, and then we'll just attack the seven. I love playing Dofi, it's such a fun deck. It's so fun to play with. So easy just to a 7k, get the things back. It's a bit like Arlong for set three. However, you need to remember stuff. <laughs> and you need to do maths. Uh, what does that do again? I forgot. KO of something. Yep, KO of five less. Probably this guy. Oh no, he's using this to trash. Yep, yeah, okay. Who's who? Boo! Probably Dofi, yep. Yeah. Okay, so he's got. He's gonna have the Don next turn to 10 drop. Which isn't gonna be good. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, I'm getting him done if I do this, actually. No, I want to save Moria. I can try and win next turn. Alright, so bang bang. Seven. Should I attack for more? More than seven could be good. Let's go for the nine. Ooh, the thing is, he's probably at Blast Burn, so. Do I go for King or do I go for Kaido? I'm going for King, 9k, use card action to play him. <laughs> um, Start placing top, I want to have that next turn. And then I want to be able to put him down. I'm mean, gonna want to get that and be able to put that down, right? Three thousand, probably doable. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's good. That's better for me. <laughs> uh, right. I want to keep two down because I can use this. So let's attach two. Go for seven thousand again, I guess. Ten drop Kaido's probably come in, so let's just go for leader. No harm in not doing leader. Nope, just for one. Okay. And now I wish I went for a leader. <laughs> oh, okay. I could have won of that. But that's fine. That's fine. All good. It's all good. Uh oh, actually, love love beam would make me draw, and that would disrupt my play. I uh, know. Actually, I don't want to use that. I don't think six don to get rid of. Oh. Okay, he really doesn't want that. Oh wait, actually, hang on. Okay. 
thing I love about oh, right, I do I need that Dofi? Oh, draw one. I thought it was draw until oh, okay, that was bad. <laughs> that was a mistake and a half. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, ten thousand. Use card action. Nope. That's what I needed. <laughs> yep. One, two, three. I think I'm just going to go for eight because I can attack with Vadofi after if I need to. Yep, there we go. Against Blurple Kaido, that was brilliant. Great win, but didn't even Mihawk. <laughs> oh, I love Dofi so much.